I was just reminded that February 11th was the anniversary of the death of Whitney Houston. And I realized I actually have sort of a personal story to tell about that night that involved me. Um, it's, it's hard to believe that was 12 years ago. Um, I was working in West Hollywood at the time and you know, it was an early Saturday evening just before I got off work that I received the news bulletin about Whitney Houston's death. Uh, as I recall, it popped up on my phone and uh, I called up a friend who lived nearby. We were both shocked, devastated because we loved Whitney Houston. He said, let's go to the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Let's, let's come on, let's go, let's go. Cause you know, it was early Saturday evening, so the traffic wasn't quite bad, and it was about maybe 10, 15 minutes away, and we drove there. <sighs> Why we went there, I don't know. We just, I guess we just wanted to stand vigil with the other people. That's where it was announced that Whitney had died in her hotel room in, in her bathtub. She drowned in her bathtub, and um, we were there. Um, and... Strangely enough, it was the night before the Grammys and Clive Owen was throwing his annual big pre-Grammy bash event or whatever you want to call it in the ballroom of the Beverly Hilton. And so while we were there, and I know this may not be much of a photo, but this is a photo that I took of all these limos arriving and all of these celebrities started appearing. I thought, oh, what the hell is this? Whitney Houston is, her body is up on the fourth floor and this, this event, this party is going on in the ballroom and all these celebrities are arriving. It was just weird to be standing there watching that. And uh, for one understand, because they had to, the police had to come and investigate and so forth. They couldn't remove her body from her room. Everything had to be left as it was. So literally up on the fourth floor, just above the ballroom, literally her dead body was there above this whole party with all these stars arriving and just acting like nothing had even happened. And of all the years I've lived in Los Angeles, that had to have been one of the most surrealistic nights. Um, there was controversy about it, why the party was allowed. And um, it's my understanding the family was rather upset that it was not canceled. I don't know about that, but that's what I witnessed. And I was there the night Whitney Houston died. Um, please like and subscribe my channel, Chuck's Captivating Chronicles.